Hi, this is Russ Jeffers from MobileBrain.com and I'm here live at Mobile World Congress 2011 with the HTC Desire S. Uh, this is a new slight upgrade from the previous Desire. Uh, we've got a slightly new chip but it's still running a uh, gigahertz uh, Qualcomm chip, a uh, slightly newer version though. Um, same size screen you can see, um, except this time we've got a forward facing camera at the top so you can do things like video calling. Uh, touch sensitive keys at the bottom as well for home menu back and search, whereas before they were hardware keys. Uh, on the left hand side here we have the volume rocker and micro USB port for charging data. Uh, and the right side is bare as you can see. Uh, the rear still has a 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash, and you've also got the uh, loudspeaker grill there. Uh, just the microphone pinhole on the bottom and then the top we have the 3.5mm headphone port and the on off button used for waking and sleeping the screen. Uh, from the previous design you can see one of the things here, um, just go back and show you where that came from. Uh, if you just drag down the top bar we've got quick settings and then sort of a tab for notifications as well. Uh, also we've got the customised menu at the bottom here which is new since the last desire. Um, and also you can see they've just changed sort of the button here for the uh, main menu and also you can sort it so you've got sort of a uh, frequently used apps and also uh, downloaded apps as well. So uh, that's a quick look at the Desire S. This is Russ Jeffers from mobilebrain.com.